people who've been around my channel for a while will know that I, I don't tend to stray away from you know controversial takes and and things that people will say are oh that's a bad opinion to have and you're just wrong and and you know I, I don't really hold back on insults and I you know I'm more than willing to to throw things at people you know when it might be a little excessive but in this case I, I would hope that most people don't think this is, you know, too controversial of a take, considering that we're discussing Daggett, the president of the uh, ILA, the people currently, you know, threatening the U.S. economy. And that's not a joke, because a literal quote is, I will cripple you, and you have no idea what that means. And if you think, even for a second, it's like, oh, but these are union people, you know, they're clearly fighting back against the big guys. It's like, well, okay, he has a near million dollar a year salary and has had, you know, accusations of being a mafia member, you know, thrown at him in the past. And he lives in a fucking mansion in New Jersey. Like, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but he is the big guys. Like, th these, these are, you know... Not exactly the underpaid Amazon office worker. I'm sorry, not office workers. Jesus, I'm being a little too nice to those guys. They're they're way fucked over. But no, they're not office workers. I meant the the. Uh, fuck, man, I'm I'm blanking on what that is. Jeez, I'm not having a good day. But uh, the, the the you know the, the, this isn't the Amazon guys at the at the depots. Like this is, you know, yeah, sure they're dock workers. You know, similar you know shipping industry. But these guys are not, you know, in the bad position like those Amazon workers are. And then they're in a position where they could threaten the U.S. economy like this and kind of just get away with it. You know, frankly, that's disgusting. That's slimy, that greasy as fuck. This bald son of a bitch is fucking just out here literally telling everybody exactly his plan. I'm going to threaten you and strong arm you into giving me what I want. And it's like, okay, you know, understandable this guy's probably going to get away with it. And that's awful. And I hate it. So, you know, on one hand, fuck this guy. But on the other hand, you know, I'm pro people getting what they're worth. But these guys are paid a little bit well for, uh, you know, what they're actually valued at. Like, you know, sure, they're critical to the U.S. economy. But just because the company you work for has billions of dollars in profits doesn't mean you're entitled to a cut of that profit. That's not how the world works. And it's disgusting that they think it does. Like, you know, that's, that's such fucking entitlement. Like... You know, if I start a job at a company and I negotiate, you know, in my, you know, my, my onboarding, you know, okay, my salary is 50000 You know, if the company makes a million dollars and has 10 employees, all 50000 okay, you know, they're still making a, a good amount of profit off of that. You know, the company can, you know, get that extra money into its pocket and, you know, that, you know, might go to bonuses or it might go to, to reinvestment. It doesn't matter where it goes, but it's the company's money now. My work was valued at $50,000. I am not entitled to a dime over that $50,000 if I don't work for it. So if I'm a salaried worker, I make $50,000. That's fine. That's how that works in the real world. That's my pay. Doesn't matter that the company might make a billion dollars, a trillion dollars. I am not, as a worker, entitled to a cent of that profit, other than what I'm owed in my contract. And I shouldn't be allowed to negotiate through threats of violence, like these guys are, for a higher wage. I should renegotiate peacefully, and without threatening the entire United States economy over it. Now, admittedly, okay, sure, you know, negotiation is all well and good. I'm willing to accept that people should be able to negotiate a higher wage. But when their entire basis for that negotiation is that they're already making over $100,000 a year, that they want to negotiate because the fucking company makes a billions? Like, no, I'm sorry. You're basing it off of entitlement and the fact that you think you're going to get away with threatening the U.S. economy because you work in a position that's, you know, critical to the functioning of the world. It's like, frankly, that's disgusting. That's slimy. And I think the average person should be smart enough to see through that. But I think you're going to deceive everybody because the media is not portraying you as the greasy fuck that you are. You're, you're a slimy mafia guy, and that's the end of it. And it's like, you know what? Come and try me. 
You know, you left a guy dead in a trunk in New Jersey over possibly, you know, bringing you down and bringing your mafia guys down. You want you want to you want to throw hands, you want to shoot some lead at somebody, you want to sling shit? Let's go. Pick me as your target. We can run this out. I'll take out you and every other guy that comes after me over it. Because I don't I don't fucking kneel to mafias. I don't kneel to mobs. I'm willing to die for my beliefs. Are you? You know, to quote Skyrim, my ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? Admittedly, my ancestors probably look at me and they're like, Oh, fuck, it went wrong there. But, you know, I don't think I'm in the wrong. You know? I think you guys greasy, disgusting fucks threatening the average American and their, their daily lives and their livelihood and their future over your entitlement to what you don't deserve. And frankly, if you're living in a mansion, I don't want to hear you tell me about how somebody else makes more money than you and that you feel like you should be entitled to a cut of that. That's disgusting. You disgust me, filthy jar man. You know, like, honestly, as bad as, as, as the things I'm saying sound, I mean every single fucking word. And I'll stand behind that till the day I die. Slimy, disgusting grease balls should not be allowed to threaten the world. And I don't care what anybody says.